just sit, sit down. On, it's much better. Do Abdullah, let's start. I'd like to start by asking, what is the atmosphere in Muslim community in London after 7-7? Seven, seven? The atmosphere for the uh, Muslims at the moment is a uh, feeling of fear, uh, no safety, no place to hide, um, a feel of uh, fright and, and blamed for something they haven't done. How are you going to respond about all of this bad atmosphere which is surrounding you as Muslim? As a Muslim living in a Christian country, you accept it. When I say you accept it, that doesn't mean that you lay down and be like lambs to the slaughter. Muslims are going around their everyday life, minding their own business, being a peaceful people, giving their dawah and etc. In other words, these moderate Muslims, uh, they're minding their business, they don't do nothing. But if they believe that every Muslim are like lambs going to the slaughter, then obviously, you know, this situation that Islam has been blamed for where there's no evidence, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they'll only create more problems if they continue in this manner, because there, were, there are Muslims in this country that would fight back. Mm -hmm. um, so, the British people have to understand, we are not your enemies, um, the government is your enemies. What was your own feeling when you for the first time heard about the bombing in London? Um, obviously, uh, the, the initial uh, feeling that came to me was that it was uh, the uh, British intelligence. Why? Because obviously to uh, remain uh, focused and understand, you know, on, on, on current issues and the world issues and etc. How you see certain governments are portraying themselves and going about doing things. Um, an example, Tony Blair was struggling uh, with the uh, British public on the uh, legislation of the ID cards. And, mm -hmm. and something had to give, even for over a year outside Finchley Park uh, Masjid, I said that, you know, that there will come a time that these people will perform and act like this to gain the support of its people. This, where it was done on a bus, it was done in Allgate, where there are Muslims, you know, uh, uh, on, on the tubes. Now, this was just completely targeting civilians. There is no Islamic objective in this. How do you, uh, how do you feel about British people? British people in general? Yeah. I don't feel anything. I don't feel any uh, anger towards them. I don't feel any hatred towards them. Um, I think that if I may be blunt, if I may be blunt, um, I wish the British society would get a life and get a brain and start thinking for themselves instead of letting the MPs and the Prime Ministers think for them when they utter one thing or if they say bark, everybody says how, you know, uh, who shall I bark at or jump, how are you want me to jump. The people have a brain. The people have a brain and they have to use it. The evidence is there, you've just got to search for it and find it. If what the government is saying we really are, why am I still here? Why haven't I gone a long time ago? Why haven't I committed these acts a long time ago? For two years outside Finsbury Park, my ship, nearly three years. Why haven't I done something? This is absolute propaganda. This is actually uh, 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 racial hatred, religious hatred, and everything that he says, and he passes legislation to put people like myself, like these hate clerics, to be put in prison or to stop the, uh, the hate sermons. He's, in fact, the one that should be put in prison for war crimes. But to ask you, I mean, you've, 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 you've grown up in London yourself. Yeah. You've been in London uh, your whole life, yeah. And you've, how do you feel about like London, London society? I love I England. Mean. It's my country. England is my country. It's a beautiful country. I hate the government. And and and, and, the, and when, when the time when I was a boy, an example, if I was caught doing something that I, w I shouldn't have been doing by the police, I'm talking about six, seven years old. The police in them days, obviously, they had a brain. They used to think for themselves, uh, not like today's police. That you know, they, they, the, the government tells them how they should think. If you was caught doing something, the police in them days would give you a, a thick ear or kick you up the backside and say, "Go on." You know, it didn't wasn't really necessary to arrest a kid, take him to the police station, all this unnecessary paperwork, and and that type of method worked. Um, but again, from from uh, my childhood and growing up, you've seen the changes. And also, um, I, I started to discover from about 14 years ago, I started to understand about you know, the, the, the Masonic order and etc. And this is why um, I'm seeing things put into plan and practice now by these uh, Western governments that are uh, following Masiya Dajjal, the one-eyed shaitan. And, and, and they're plotting and planning to eradicate Islam and pave the way for, for the Dajjal's appearance. 
But alhamdulillah, there are Muslims that are still holding to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, my only uh, wish for the British people is, is that, that for them to love which I love and experience, which I experience in right now, um, it's a beautiful thing to experience. I was a person that had, an, uh, had a, a portion of my heart that was empty and was never satisfied. There was times I had money, cars, you know, this, that, you know, I, I had it all. And I was never ever happy and satisfied until so Islam come to me and that fulfilled the missing part of my life. And then I realized that all the material world was meaningless to me. What meant, what meant something to me was God. And what meant something to me that, that God values me as his slave, you know, and he loves me 70 degrees more than my mother. Now, I can't comprehend that, but he loves me. He loves his slave. He loves his abd 70 degrees more than his mother when his mother gave him birth. And, you know? and, and so how can I not be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can I not want to submit the, my will to the will of my Lord? And not because man's telling me this, that oh, I'm going to punish you and etc. Is this the reason why I'm an extremist? And so once you've accepted this religion and mm -hmm. come more to this religion, there's never been moments of which you would say that you hate what you you hate the people who, who practice like the kuppa as you call them. Mm. You don't feel you feel hatred for the for the for the kuppa in London. No. I, I, I see a confusion sometimes between mm. you say the kuppa as the government mm. or the kuppa as the people. I mean the mirrors, for example, said, you know, mm. that you hate general people. I hate people that are killing my people. So, but people in London in general, it's like... People in London in general are innocent. Um, they've been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have a right to existence, just like I do. But a human being only has the right to existence according to the laws of God. Uh, why? Because God is the legislator. And if human beings and mankind decide to become uh, self... Uh, self-sufficient if I can may use that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that provides for everybody we are not self-sufficient but there are arrogant people that believe they're self-sufficient and and can overtread God's law or even man-made laws and etc everybody is held uh, one day everybody will help be held uh, to, to, to the acts and, and crimes that they've committed on the earth now again for the British public we're not against the British public we're not against the normal civilians on the street but then my question is is this why are you not using your brains? Why are you against people like me when we've done nothing to you? All what we want is goodness for you, whether you accept it or don't accept it. That's down to you. So whoever attacked your city, London, on Thursday was wrong? This is a question that's been asked to me over the last three days, probably about 70 times by the media. And when I asked the media, do you condemn your government for killing probably two million Muslims. Do you condemn that? And I don't get an answer. Why do we always get this point of where you always want the answer from the Muslim, yeah? It wasn't us. There's no evidence it was Muslims for starters. Of course, like, we're against innocent lives being, being lost. Of course we are, you know? Of course, any human being would be sad. But why, who's on this? This is for the British public. I've been feeling sad for years that millions of my people are being killed and you people turn a blind eye to it. Now the moment that it's come here, a li just a little trickle of something that's happened here, and there's no evidence that Islam have done it. Now all of a sudden, the whole Muslim world is feeling sorry for Britain and its uh, uh, 60 lives lost. Well, let's weigh it up. What happened to the two million people that have recently been killed? Why ain't you people taking a stance against this? Why is it that if I don't make the comment about this crime, I'm going to be portrayed again as an evil person. Where are you people condemning this? And this is going on every single day. Where do we draw the line? Where does it stop? And you've got dogs and shaitan like Blair and Bush. You know, may them go into the bottom, bottomless pit in hellfire. And may you roast in there for all eternity. Amen. And may Allah inflict this punishment upon you. And also in this life and the hereafter.